What is up everyone, it is Mabeen here and welcome back to the third episode of Going Old School. Now, today we're going to be coming back with this laptop, right? And what we're going to be doing is installing the old file sharing applications of LimeWire, Napster, FrostWire and Morphus. Morphus? I mean, I think that's how you pronounce it. Other people may have a different pronunciation, but anyways... Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me give you a rundown of what these applications are. I will leave a link in the description of the history of these type of applications because I'm not going to get into that today. I'm just going to try these out. Um, but yeah, so these applications are file sharing applications. And uh, what they were intended for was to, you know, file share over the network and stuff like that. Um, but these, But these applications quickly turned into, you know, places to download illegal stuff you know for example cracked version of applications and especially music that was the reason why all of these kind of, all of these applications kind of got into a bit of a problem and that was also one of the popular that was the reason why these applications were really popular because back in the 90s and 2000s when these existed and they were pretty I wouldn't say at its peak but they were really being used um, there was a lot of CDs and cassettes and stuff like that going around and music was I guess kind of expensive and so what people did was they just ripped the music off their CDs and upload it because a lot of people wanted music and they couldn't afford it so they just downloaded mp3 versions so yeah these applications all you know caused a bit of drama because oh okay um, I was, you have to install Java to use Lamware, but yeah, so these applications caused quite a bit of problem because these these were pretty much hosting illegal files, right? Especially especially movies and stuff like that because a lot of people what they did was instead of movies they kind of put uh, they, they kind of replaced it and made it like you know made people think it's movies when in fact it's actually um, something that we're not going to mention and it's especially got to do with children <laughs> that's what I'll say um, so yeah that caused a very very big problem on all of these so yeah Napster especially and LimeWire uh, that was kind of like a terrible explanation of what these are I'll, again I will leave links in the description for a better history um, but yeah, anyways Napster Inc and okay yes I agree select your line speed does it tell me okay DSL cable I don't I'm just gonna say I don't know next okay let's connect it to server let's see if this works I hope it works I mean I never even I pretty much never even existed when these applications were really being used. I mean, LimeWire, for example, that was used up till like I don't know the late 2000s. So I was, I, w I was, I was. Oh no! Oh wow! You can actually join chat rooms. That's that's well, obviously not. You can't now, but th that's just what we're gonna pretty much be doing. We're just gonna be exploring everything. Oh, you need email and password as well. That's an. Oh wait, hang on. Actually, I don't think you need that. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's put, let's put in cable or DSL actually. Oh, okay. Uh, Say folder. Let's do music. Let's do my. Is there even? I forgot. I forgot about. Oh, there is. Yep, yeah, my music. And I have put some music onto this computer as well. So that's pretty cool. Hang on. Let me let me see if there's a way to get around this. Alright guys, so I'm finally back and what I've done is I've installed Java. I had to look for a couple um, different downloads because for whatever reason I couldn't properly find a 32-bit version on Java's website which is insanely stupid but anyways I looked online if there's any way that you can reroute the servers or whatever for naps done. They don't work because they've shut it all down and stuff so why am I connected to BT Wi-Fi? Let's try LimeWare now. And hopefully it should work properly now, now that we've installed Java already. So, oh, there we are. There we go. And I really can't wait. 
I really, will, I really can't wait to upgrade the RAM on this thing because 128 megabytes is really limited and I even tried installing some browsers and because of how low the amount of RAM there is in this computer a lot of them just didn't install or work properly so hopefully when I get some more RAM on this some web browsers would work like let's just hope for that because um, it would be pretty fun trying to web browse on this thing and maybe I could do it as like a challenge so I don't um, what do you call it? I don't use my HP for everything. I use this and then I try and live with this for a week. And it would actually just be really, really fun. And um, video editing, of course, I'm going to be doing that on HP. But when I do upgrade the RAM and stuff, hopefully this would, this challenge, I guess, when I do it, turns out really well. As you can see, the icon just appeared on the desktop so it's nearly done here and now these applications are just pretty interesting because obviously I'm not going to be well I'm not going to okay here's the thing what here's what I'm going to do right I'm not going to download any movies any applications any files that's not mp3 related if you go know I mean I would, I'm, I'm only going to download like one or two mp3s just for the sake of it just for the sake of this video because I just want to try and see if they actually work and if they've been altered in any way and so on and so forth so let's see what this is install the tool Lama toolbar no and no I, I, I'm gonna try that but I'm not gonna do ask for my search engine that sucks <laughs> I've used it before it's absolutely terrible and by the way if you hear any background noise I apologize for that once again loud parents and loud siblings and all of that um, what's this is this Java okay you can okay you can get lost yeah as you can see it's kind of locking up a little bit so let me zoom in just a bit there we are got to get in the middle okay and there we go run line while let's go and let's hope this app oh, let, let's hope this application actually works java runtime environment 6.0 what have i got installed then I've got seven. What? So why is it not working? Yeah, seven point zero point six point zero six seven six zero. Yeah, it should work. Maybe I need to download an older version. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, the the bars there. So that's pretty nice. Um. Oh damn it. Okay. So I'm gonna try get an older version of LimeWire, and I'll be right back. Right, so I've finally come back with an older version of LimeWire and this. So, and an older version of Java, for God's sake. So, let's try run Java Runtime Environment 6 and see if it works. And if not, then I'll uninstall 5.5.16 and download 4.9.93. Yay! Would you look at that? LimeWire 4.12. Wait, what? I thought that my one was a bit of a different one. Okay, never mind. Who cares? At least it works. Okay. This is getting interesting now. So as far as we can see, we can see the LimeWire logo. And this is kind of like the application splash screen thingy. Um, so, oh, here we go. Loading resources. Loading HTML engine. Okay. If we can at least download one song today, that that would be nuts. That would actually be really nuts. Okay, choose language. Can I do United Kingdom? Nope. Okay, same thing. Cool. Okay, I have a feeling there's something meant to be here, but okay, let's click next. Save folder. Nope, not that. There we go. That's where we're gonna select. Boom click on next and I am so confused on this bit I think it's a I think it's cable DSL but let's not start automatically I don't want the computer slowing down and sorry that was my phone what is it oh um, landmark can filter f that oh whatever um, uh, yeah whatever who cares I'm not gonna do that scan hard drive nope that's gonna slow things down and finish Okay, so now hopefully it should be loading up. 
this 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 is going this bit this is now going pretty well it's loading the UI and I think it will show up when um, uh, I think when the application opens that's when it will show up the little bar oh here we go upgrade oh would you look at that yes okay no later and you know what was funny I think for the older versions of LimeWire Pro get lost get lost for the older versions of LimeWire Pro before they allowed before they had to use serial keys um, for this very reason they you can actually just get LimeWire Pro off LimeWire because obviously people download it and they upload it here so it was pretty funny and because they realized that they're like okay you know what we're gonna put on keys now so okay so let's search for I don't know what to search for. What music should we search for? Um, okay, you know what? I might as well do this. Okay, let's search for Justin Bieber. <laughs> if I spell if, if if Bieber if I spell Bieber wrong, that is stupid. It's connecting to the network. If if this doesn't work either, that's going to be a bit upsetting. Um, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, hold on. After some googling and some more research, LimeWire does not work anymore because obviously their server shut down. So it will just tell you that it's just connecting. So that's a bit of a um, that's that's that that's a bit sad. But at least we got to see what the application looks like and stuff. Okay, so I'm back now, and let's run Morpheus. So let's see. Uh, I I really don't have high hopes for Morpheus either. So I'm just putting all my hopes for. Uh, frost wire because that's the only one that I guess is still around um, so yeah let's see how this does and let's okay oh so it's gonna download stuff for the serve from the server I really don't think you'll be able to do so so let's see it's downloading server components yeah I really don't think it's gonna be able to do so but it'll be pretty interesting if it does um, and remember that I've also got like a really terrible like 56 megabits per second or something like that uh, USB dongle because this doesn't have Wi-Fi and even if it did it would be terrible um, so yeah I don't think it will download anything so let's just cancel that yeah let's just cancel that and let's just get straight to Frostwire this is this is what I want to be um, try now this one will probably bring the best hopes so let's see here let's install frostwire agree yep yep and no and no and yes there oh oh no 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 oh no 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 oh shitting hell why did I do that oh Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was kind of going nuts there for a second. I didn't want to install the Ask Toolbar again. Oh no. It crashed. Can we still continue with the installation, please? Oh, goodness gracious me. Uh, yeah, it's frozen. Okay. So, what we're going to be. What we'll do is. Yeah, it crashed. Um, so, what we'll do then is. I'll just redo the. Set up, but obviously make sure I don't install Ask uh, Toolbox. I think that's what caused it to crash. Cause did you see that it had the um, the weird command prompt thingy? I want to I want to continue with our bloody Ask Toolbox. Oh, oh damn it! Yeah, I think it crashed. Okay, so I think what I'm probably gonna do then is move to my PC and try this. Cause yeah, I really don't think it's going to be working here. So what I'll do is I'll So what I'll do is I'll just try actually maybe I can download an older version. Okay then. Well, I've got an, another two versions of Frostwire. Here we go. So I've got 4.21.8. Let's try this one. I just want to get at least one of the applications working, right? And obviously, I got LimeWire um, installed, but I want to see if any of these applications actually work. That would actually make this video more interesting. Um, 
but even if it doesn't work it's not gonna be too bad because at least we got to try something out and it's just it's just there for you know just for nostalgic reasons i guess that's the only reason why i'm doing this video um but yeah that's the whole point of going old school right so here we go so let's it's in, it's loading up the installer file okay here we go i just cancelled the jre thing because i've already got it um so yeah i'm just going to try to do this without what installing jre again because i don't need it okay so it's actually installing frost right now finally so fingers crossed it actually works um and i forgot yeah <laughs> i've zoomed into the thing so it's gonna look massive let's close internet explorer because we don't need it can you please go away oh jeez oh god's sake now i have to force close it how more oh jeez oh finally would you look at that it's got rid of all the internet explorer and the end application thingies now finally it has completed the install of frostwire oh oh yeah that's internet explorer i thought that was frostwire can you go away okay there we go finish all right so let's try this then frostwire i really hope this works i just really keep saying that but i really want it to work i don't know why but you know because th th these type of things are really fun to explore especially when you hadn't especially when you didn't have that oh what the f is that really their splash screen is that really their splash <laughs> okay <laughs> okay this looks terrible first of all that splash why what why 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 just why uh, I, I i've lost for words <laughs> Seriously, i just can't go over the fact that this looks so stupid <laughs> it's like they thought okay look let me zoom into the actual landmark logo do you see that hang on let me move the camera that way do you see it's just like they got they, they just got the stock photo and then they just put their they they just sized it and stuff like that over that. Um no, you know, image editing to make it look like an actual like ball or whatever. Ugh, that is so stupid. Okay guys, so as you can see I've got Limewire 5.0.7 on my desktop and it just finished installing and I just clicked it. Um, I just opened it and this is why it's coming up so far I just hit record right now so let's see uh, this is actually going really well now because um, before when the oh before when 4.21.8 so the previous LAN one that frost wire that I installed and then it started lagging had to just force shut down my computer just by holding the power button and stuff like that and then I had to reboot it and then I just installed 5.0.7 and here we are. So Frostwire is a peer-to-peer -peer application that enables you to share files of your choosing with other users connected to the Bit Network, BitTorrent network. Cool. Installing and using the program does not con constitute a license for obtaining or distribution just distributing unauthorized content. Okay. So let's click on next and by the way, Frostwire is still around. <laughs> yeah, while I was looking for this version, I pretty much realized that Frostwire is still around. They still make peer-to-peer uh, -peer applications, so that's pretty cool. You can get on Mac, Android, iOS, and Windows, and I think you can get on Linux as well, so that's pretty nice. That would be really nice if I can continue, please. Thank you very much. Um, I know I'm speaking to myself, and I'm getting a little bit frustrated, but, you know, the Frostwire should work, okay? Frostwire should work. I don't know why it's not working. I can't even get through the setup with it that's a bit annoying but it's not going to be too bad though because I've got my PC that I could try this on and that's obviously millions of worlds better than this thing so oh would you look at that okay and nice we've got an error okay oh okay cool um, don't send seeds I don't want to see these downloads. That's just long. Um, okay. 
Let's click on next, please. There we go. And absolutely not. Type your type your chat nickname here, Mabin Ahmed. Okay, I'll just put that in there. Click on next. I have a feeling it's going to connect to the internet and stuff like that. Um, ask, uh, if, it, if it asks me to make an account, I'm not going to do so. Well, hopefully, I don't need to do so. But if I if I do need to, then yeah, sure, I'll do it. But um, I'll just use like a temporary, uh, I wouldn't call it a temporary, but like a throwaway account that I don't need, um, which I don't mind using. Okay. Okay, I will not use Frostwire for copyright infringement. Co finish. And hopefully she will. You know what's funny, right? Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah. So you know what's funny, right? When you when when LimeWire, um, you know, got into the problem first with the RIAA and RIAA basically told them, "Oh, look, your your application has a bunch of copyrighted stuff. Block it out." That's when they implemented that feature. So they up so they updated it. Put the most like smallest little you know copyright blocking you know protection, but it was so easy to get around because what people were able to do was just change the pitch ever so slightly, and that for whatever reason went past Frostwire's um, LimeWire's um, copyright checking thingy, and it was able to be uploaded. And they said the same thing: I will not use LimeWire for copyright infringement. But let's face it, everyone did, and they shut down. <laughs> so okay, so it's at fifty percent, and it's loading the stats window. So that's pretty good. So far, so good. Okay, so obviously the all the other all the other applications didn't work. So hopefully Frostwire works, and that'll be pretty nice if it does. Um, and yeah, got myself some tea. Ow, 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 hot, yikes, <laughs> that was, that is hot, finally, it's opened, that is the most longest time I've ever had to wait for an application to open, how nuts is that, oh jeez, Flabby is calling me, go away, <laughs> yeah, okay, so, oh Jesus, alright, Finally, here we go. Oh my days, Nihal, can you please stop calling me? Right off the bat, one thing that I obviously see is the fact that it looks pretty much the same as LimeWire. So let's actually try and look for a song. I don't know what song to download. Okay. Um, what old songs are there? Two. If I can't even spell his name right. Two pack. That is. Oh, oh fucking hell. Jeez, <laughs> while I was typing in the name, the co the thing just fell. Okay, I've got to do this over the camera. Okay, okay, finally. All right, let's click on search. I've put in me against the world, and hopefully it finds um, two packs on me against the world. So let's click on search. Can I please search? Yeah, something tells me that this computer is not the most amazing thing to be doing this on. I should have just used like a a virtual machine on the PC, but I really wanted to do it on here, but I didn't know the application would be this slow, or well, more like the computer will be this slow. Because it should be use oh, this is annoying. This is super annoying. Okay, it's loading. Alright guys, so we've hit ourselves a dead end. And as you can see, it's just being really really slow so um, yeah as you can see it's just not working really well but what I'm gonna do maybe like an, in the next video or something like that in the next going old school episode in the end I'll probably just make like a little snippet video of this working well, hopefully working on my PC because if it works on the PC then at least we know the application works and, it, and you can still pretty much use it but for this computer, it's just a little bit too much to handle, especially with only 120 meg RAM. As you can see, it's just kind of like lagging up a lot. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Going Old School. It's not why planned out to be because I pl I expected Frostwire at least to work nicely or at least LimeWire, right? But 
Yeah, I guess we can establish that it's just not gonna run nicely on this computer anyways But yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're doing well It's not what I expected it to be because I expected at least Frostwire to work nicely on this thing But it isn't as you can see the computer is just going completely nuts um, And it's frozen everywhere. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode